Chester W. Nimitz was commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet during World War II, one of the Navy's foremost administrators and strategists. He commanded all land and sea forces in the Central Pacific area. Nimitz originally started out in the submarine fleet, and while he was there, he became one of the Navy's leading experts in aquatic diesel engines. He was such an expert that a manufacturer that built engines for the Navy approached Nimitz in 1913 with a job offer. At a time in his career when he was only paid $300 a month, he turned down a job that would have paid $25,000 a year. He was then told that it wasn't enough, he should just name his price. And because he was too committed to the Navy, he turned down the second offer too. And if it wouldn't have been for that commitment, the six months from the devastation of Pearl Harbor to the turning point of Midway might have been a lot longer, if not for a young man choosing service to his country over a high paying job. Chester Nimitz was easy to underestimate. At age 56, with snow white hair and piercing light blue eyes, he was a quiet man who seldom betrayed his emotions. Undemonstrative and restrained, he rarely swore or even raised his voice. He was not impersonal or cold. He was a gifted teller of stories and particularly fond of elegant puns. But his German heritage and his Texas Hill country upbringing had bred him in a calm reserve that allowed him to remain apparently undisturbed in the midst of crisis. That was the kind of man that President Franklin D. Roosevelt wanted in command at Pearl Harbor after the disastrous Japanese attack on December 7, 1941. That the Americans at Midway changed the course of World War II is indisputable. At 10 o'clock in the morning of June 4, 1942, the Japanese were winning the Pacific War. An hour later, three Japanese aircraft carriers were on fire and sinking. The fate of nations in the course of history had changed in an astonishing five-minute flurry of American bombs. <clears throat> to be sure, chance played a role at Midway, and it has in every military engagement throughout history. But to attribute the American victory predominantly to luck is a disservice to its principal players. A look at the actions of an American across the command chain at Midway, Fleet Admiral Chester Nimitz, shows how courageous leadership and sound decision-making, not just fate and chance, determine the crucial American victory at Midway. As Commander-in-Chief Pacific Admiral Nimitz proved to be the right man at the right time. He restored morale to a shattered Pacific fleet by building an aggressive combat team and brilliantly, instinctively making the right moves in the Battle of Midway. To this day, Midway is considered the U.S. Navy's greatest victory. In 1942, Nimitz was promoted to the Fleet Admiral. Chester W. Nimitz, shown with his pre-war work on submarines, refueling at sea, and his and the circular disposition of task force, all key elements in American victories in the Pacific.